Good evening, ladies and gents. Welcome back to the channel. You see me here in a very, very uh, overcast and rainy London city in the Comanche. My plan today is to fly up to the new um, East Midlands scenery that's just been released. It's very beautiful. I've flown in there a couple of times the other day. And I knew that from Shoreham to London City, um, I knew as soon as I did that, I wanted to do up to East Mids. And then from East Mids, maybe do a more uh, long-range trek within the UK airspace. But again, this is a fairly short hop. It's only 100 nautical miles. But the weather and being on a busy VATSIM this evening is going to make for um, quite the quite the challenge. So, um, I've decided, I think quite rightly, not to do, not to make this a live stream because I've got too much to think about, so I'm going to do uh, do this as a pre-recorded video. Checking the flap. Oh, Actually, there's not a lot of wiggle. There's not a lot of wiggle in that. I'm quite impressed. Uh, oh, what I should have done first was um, fill up the fuel tanks. So I'm, I'm going to go with 18 gallons in the mains, which is more than enough for my trip. Uh, so, you know, you should sump that wing tank and there should be no problem. Uh, I love the raindrop effect. It's really cool. Let's check this tank. Yeah. Good fuel. It looks it looks pretty full actually. And I like how I can if you look, you can you can interrupt that animation halfway through and reverse it like this. I like that, you see? And I like the fact that you can click this and then close the cap before the you can close the flap before the cap has actually finished its animation. Look at that. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Let's go through chocks. That's good. Right now, this, this, yeah, we're good. <clears throat> Check the state of the propeller all good. The intakes are all clear. Right, we've had our uh, engine heater in, quite rightly. And our oil, again, just under 12 quarts. And it's a kind of middle of the road color, as far as, far as I'm aware, aware. Let's put that back. Yep, again, I'm satisfied with that. I had not seen that before, that damage. Uh, yeah, it all looks okay. I wonder if there is any graphical change with that when uh, not as much wiggle as I remember but maybe I just don't remember correctly All right, that's clear take down that tie down yeah we're all good that's clear let's just pop in yeah I've got some over an overnight bag some suitcase etc that's all I need that's good Okay, and back in the cockpit. So, uh, maintenance pan panel, uh, all is looking good. Engine, uh, I'm not going to do an inspection. Oil level is 99%. That's still good. Uh, uh, oh, what do I need? I need a massive engine, engine analyzer. There's nothing going to be on here at the moment. Electric system, 
Uh, there's no electricity load at the moment. Fuel and payload, uh, it all looks good. 18 gallons on both sides. Uh, controls, uh, let's take out the engine heater now, of course. Uh, let's take out the control lock um, and let's leave the headphones in. Okay, so it's going to be, uh, I think, is this my first night flight? Uh, I have a feeling this might actually be my first night flight, which is a bit scary that I'm doing on Vatsim, but there we go. Right, now the one thing I completely forgot to do on takeoff from Shoreham is make the trim tab neutral, which really, really screwed me up on takeoff at Shoreham. I almost crashed the plane. I was uh, quite scared about that. Um, fuel selectors are on both tanks. Let's go flight info. So we've got a 15 knot crosswind on takeoff. We're going to be taking off towards London City this evening. Um, so that's going to be fun. Before starting, uh, uh, before engine start, pre-flight has been complete. Passengers have been briefed. It's just me. Seatbelt secured. Control locks have been removed. Parking brake is set. Gear switch is down. Um, flaps are up. Radios are off. Autopilot master is off. Avionics master is off. All electric switches are off, except for the master, uh, that's just off now. Circuit breakers are all in, yes, they are all in, that's good. Rotating beacon, well, I think I need the master on to do the rotating beacon, so let's pop that on. Engine start checklist. Fuel selectors desire tank, indeed they are. Mixture needs to be rich. Uh, throttle cracked, which it is. Prop full forward, which it is. Uh, carb heat is off, um, like so. Master switch is on, fuel pump. Let's go on and only have the fuel pump on until I can check that there's pressure and then you can turn it off. So we're going to be watching the fuel pressure gauge. We're going to watch that climb. One PSI. 2 PSI, that's all we need to check that that works, that's fine. Then the fuel pumper goes off, uh, then let's do some priming, let's do 1 to 5 strokes, let's go uh, 3, sounds good, 2 and 3, and then I think, yeah, middle mouse button up, scroll it upwards to lock the primer. Mags uh, would need to go on uh, both. Uh, mags prop area is clear start to engage and then that's the start checklist so what I'm gonna do yeah I'm gonna start up the engine first and then call London so let's go um, and shout clear prop make sure no one's around he's standing back there and then uh, we hit the starter engage and we watch the oil pressure Good start. Oil pressure straight up into the green. That's beautiful. That's a sign of a healthy engine. Now bring the RPM down to a thousand and then immediately lean for ground operation. Because we do not want to foul those spark plugs. We've got 21 hours, 0.9 on the engine. Fuel pressure is good. Oil temperature will come up. Gallons are good. Amps are good. Yeah, successful start. And then mixture lean is required. And then the taxi checklist. So after the taxi checklist, let's just uh, pop that in. Let's move the tablet down there while we tune our radios. Now, for our radios, this is going to be important. Um, there's a lot of ATC on this evening. I'm going to be using both both stacks, now uh, COM1 and COM2 this evening. I've not done it uh, hardly at all in... Uh, in previous streams and previous videos, but I've decided I'm going to do it. So, first person we call is uh, Atus, which is uh, 13635. Oh, hello. That should be on standby, by the way. Oh, yes, obviously, duh, Master Avionics on. Uh, November. So 1818 on the control, you're not flying the seats correctly at all. Maintain altitude 5,000 feet. So, um, 136.35. That's November 1818, turn right, heading 180 degrees. Climb flight level 100. 
Then we're off on November 1. Okay. London City Information Foxtrot. Yep. Time 1650 Zulu. Automatic. Runway in use 27. Surface winds 230 degrees 11 knots. Varying between 190 and 260 degrees. Visibility 10 kilometers. Or more no cloud detected. Temperature plus 19. Dew point plus 11. QNH 1011. Acknowledge receipt of information Foxtrot. And advise aircraft type on first contact. Cool. London City Information Foxtrot. Okay, let's just go to a dead frequency for the moment while we while we can so we can think before we actually uh, try and call him up because I know he's going to be busy. This is this is this is a hornet's nest I'm going to run into here. Um, but there, right? So London controls uh, one three four uh, one two. Uh, that's going to be my first frequency. The second frequency uh, is actually. Mm. It could it could be Heathrow Director one nineteen seven two, but I will not be passing into his airspace as such. Uh, here is my flight plan. I'll be taking off from London City westbound, and immediately turning to the north after uh, one point two nautical miles to track uh, the radial three three eight inbound to uh, Brooklyn Brookman's Park. And then outbound from Book Brookman's Park, I'm going to go out to Daventry, which is up here. And then from Daventry, up northbound into the East Midlands airspace. So if Luton was on, I would talk to Luton. Um, but I've only got London South Control, which he might not give me a huge amount. So we'll see. We'll just see how this goes. So... The only one I really need right now to pre, pre to pre-select is uh, one three four one two, and then um, and then East Mids when we get there has ground control on. So let's go um, one three four one two and see how we go. Very quiet right now. Uh, London South, good evening. Golf Lima, India, Foxtrot Romeo, radio check. He's gone, but I reach five by five. Okay, is it Unicom then? Yep. Cheers, thanks. Okay, well there you go, folks. Um, this is Unicom then. I, uh, it, it's always I always have the worst luck. It's always me. I see a load of ATC online, I log on, and nothing. But there we go. So we're just going to be calling on Unicom, no problem. And then once we get to East Mids, we'll see what happens. So um, what we need to do, we need to tune then uh, Brooklyn, Brooklyn's Park, which is 17.5. Uh, Seventeen five set, and seventeen five set. We're going to go up three three eight, uh, which is this way. Three three eight, about there was that. Yep, course three three eight set, and runway heading is going to be. If I grab runway heading, uh, EGLC. Uh, no, uh, airports. E uh, G L C. Uh, taxi. Let's go have a look at an airport chart. Uh, there we go. Uh, right. So, uh, it's two seven two. Just put the heading on two seven two. One two. 272 set. So that's the um, heading bug, and that is my uh, radial course. And what that was about. So we're going to be taxiing uh, along. Uh, is that Alpha? 
No, that's Alpha Bravo. What is this taxiway? Uh, what is this taxiway? East taxiway. It just says East taxiway. Uh, it's just saying East taxiway. I'm just gonna say I'm gonna just I'm gonna taxi. Um, I'm gonna taxi Kilo. Take off low visibility, low visibility takeoff here. Um, yeah, not uh, we're we're okay with that. Okay, so we're gonna taxi kilo. London. Oop. London. London City uh, traffic. Golf Lima into Foxtrot Romeo's taxiing holding point kilo for a takeoff runway 27, London City traffic. Um, just make sure there's no one else here. So that random guy on Unicom was just doing whatever. Okay, so with that done, let's go uh, my checklists. Because I always forget my checklists. Always, always, always. Uh, let's do the run-up, uh, no, it's taxi checklist next. Primer locked, we did lock the primer. Avionics Master is on, Amita is uh, checked. We're, uh, we're uh, zero amps. That doesn't sound right. At least we're not in the negative. That doesn't sound right. Zero amps? Really? Let's go with the landing lights on. Uh, radios are on, transponder is on, out. Let's not go out until we get to the hold. Uh, heading indicator has been set, landing gear lamp is green. Landing gear lamp is green, nav lights as required. Parking brake is released and brakes test on initial roll. Yeah, everyone's laughing, mate, you're really funny. Okay. Test brakes. Yep, brakes good. Okay, and then next is the run-up checklist, which we can do at the hold. It's getting a notch of flaps as well, worry about it. Let's not go above uh, 1100 RPM, uh, or else this thing taxis like a rocket. Uh, it's a bit stuttery because it's quite intense on the frames. Yeah, let's bring that down to like 900 RPM ish. I see, I see a, I see a strobe. I don't know what that is. Is that is that some traffic glitched into the building? I don't know. I don't like gravy. Um, chicken run reference. Just uh, keep on the brakes and keep us, keep us cozy, all cushy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think. I think someone's there actually. Once we get round the side of this building, we'll have a look. Just got so much to load in, I guess. Yep, there you go. Hello. Hello, E-Jet. Stay on tax line. So with the nav lights flashing, that's definitely um, a VATSIM traffic. And a KLM E-Jet would be um, the correct sort of traffic you would expect to see at London City. Commercial traffic, that it's... Excuse me. <clears throat> so... 
we are going to do our run up, a quick run up at the hold. And the hold should be coming up now. Uh, it should be Kilo. Yeah, let's hope that we see it. There's Tango 7. Yep, Tango 7. Okay. Ooh. Okay, Tango 7. After Tango 7, we've got Foxtrot and then Kilo. So we've got Foxtrot there. It's Tango 8. Oh, Tango 9. Okay, Tango 9 is what we want. Actually, yeah, Kilo, Foxtrot, those those are the intersections. The Tangos here, those are the actual hold points I'm, I'm, I'm needing. So Tango 9, this is, this is what I'm looking for. Okay, so let's just come to a hold here. Let's go on the brake. So, let's pull up my checklist. Run up. Positions. I can't position into wind, so I'm just going to have to do it here. Fuel quantity check uh, is good for both tanks. Fuel selectors are the desired tanks. Uh, mixture as required. Let's go rich for that. Uh, throttle 2000 RPM. Two thousand set and holding. Engine instruments check oil pressure, temperature, fuel pressure, ammeter, vacuum, EGT. All looking good. Now we're going to do a mag drop. Let's go left mag first. And watching, we're on two thousand. Expect to see, yep, expect to see one hundred percent drop and then maintain. Let's go back to both. Let it stabilize at two thousand. And let's go back to right, and again, should see about 1900, and hold, yep, and back to both. And then prop, reduce, so that we have 1500 RPM. And at 1500 RPM, we should see a stable engine. Is that rain, rain dropping in the light? Okay, yeah. Yeah, we're seeing, we're seeing stable 1500, that's good. Back up to, uh, oh, well, actually, uh, carb heat check. We need to check the carb heat. So we're going to go back up to 2000, push the mixture, oh, sorry, the prop all the way in, and let's bring out the carb heat. 1860, and it's holding. And let's go maintenance and engine analyzer. Yeah, we should, at a full rich engine, that's that's pretty. Let's, ri let's lean out that for ground ops and back in with the carb heat yeah and then bring that back down to a thousand rpm and that is our run-up checklist complete let's go down to about a thousand rpm okay back to before takeoff checklist controls free and correct they are indeed rudder trim uh, is neutral I never touch the rudder trim uh, door is latched, it is indeed. Fuel selectors are, again, desired tanks, that's fine. Uh, fuel pump should be on. Let's put that on now. Mixture, full rich, let's go full rich now. Prop, full forward, indeed it is. Carb heat is off. Engine gauges, check again for one final time. Again, exactly where they should be. Uh, pitot heat as required, let's put that on anyway. Strobes on and landing lights as required. So let's taxi finally to, uh, let's taxi into Kilo. Off for the parking brake. Put that over there. And let's hold at Kilo. Goodness me, this weather is abysmal. This is going to be really interesting trying to fly an ILS in this. Okay, so we're going to hold Kilo. Okay. Oh, this rain. Okay, we're going to go on with the strobes. Uh, that is good for everything else. What else do we need? Uh, oh, no, not this one. 
Uh, oh, no, sorry. I'm used to searching for my 2D panel and I forgot that I'm in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Landing lights on as required. Strobes are on. The takeoff checklist. Throttle full open. S airspeed indicator alive. Engine gauges check. Rotation at 85 miles an hour. Positive climb verified. Gear up flaps up. Airspeed uh, VY 95 miles per hour. Emergency landing area verify. That's going to be difficult here. One thing I'm going to do before I go is I'm going to have a look at lights. Uh, now, where can I do my lights? I need some lights. That's a good start. Uh, that's I'm okay for the red right now actually, but that was a good start. And I want some. Uh, I want some. Uh, cabin flood light rear cabin right light red nav and instrument that's what I wanted like that and did I accidentally turn on the engine heater nope that was off now it's on okay that's that that'll do me good okay so the one last thing one last thing is the NDB three three two two. Yep, and that's tracking. Uh, oh, actually, no, that's not going to help me, is it? Uh, uh, what was it I needed for one point two nautical mile NDB uh, or, or DMA? That's maybe. 111.15 then. Yeah, right, we need the distance of the lock, that's what that is. And then as soon as we're 1.2, we will go over to um, our first as Brooklyn, Brooklyn's Park. Okay, it's no time like the present. Let's go. Um, okay. Let's just make sure that we are clear on VATSIM. Uh, I don't see anyone else around right now. So let's go on ALT now that we're on the hold. And we should... Yeah, we'll just leave it as is. And if anyone wants to call us, they can call us. And give us a squawk. So we are... Um, London City traffic. Um, uh, London City traffic. Golf Lima India Fox Romeo is uh, taking off runway 27 uh, northwest bound from the area. Uh, Golf Lima India Fox Romeo. I should have said London City traffic. Anyway. No one, no one is around in my area right now anyway to, to care, apparently. So let's move across onto the active. Let's make sure we're still about 1,000 a thousand RPM is good. It's going to be interesting to see all this rain, dynamic rain on the, on the, on the glass. It's going to be kind of cool. Okay. Right, so it's going to let's smoothly and slowly advance our power. And release brakes. And remember, we've got that left hand crosswind, so right hand rudder straight away. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Positive rate of climb. Gear coming up. 0.5 nautical miles. Let's trim. Let's go flaps up as well. Oh, it's so good to. to, to it's such a good flyer. Okay, I'm going to come back to uh, 24 squared. One uh, nautical mile, continue the climb. That's uh, Airfront 072, working taxi. Airfront 072, you are on Unicom, please contact the correct controller. Okay. Point 0.7, point 0.8.
Look at that. Wow. One nautical mile. Let's go ahead and hold. 1.2. 1.3. And that'll be 1.5. Right there. Right back to frequency. Let's tune over and take a right hand turn. Let's go due north for the moment. Let's go keep maintain 24 squared up to up to 5,000. Rainy weather, if ever I've seen it. Uh, let's trim down. Gain a little bit more airspeed here. And let's attack this. Let's attack this radial here, and we're tracking inbound 13 nautical miles. And continue the climb up through 2,500, and begin leaning for a more efficient. Let's go off for the landing lights now. We don't need those. Not right now. Okay, I'm going to wait for that radial to come in. Doing really good. Now, I mean, I am, so far I've been used to flying this aircraft really as efficiently as it possibly can be at high altitude and in long range. But when you're down low and you're thundering around at, at 24 squared, this thing, you realize how much power this aircraft has. It really is beautiful as, as a GA aircraft. It's no Cessna 152. I don't. I, I feel it's significantly better than a, a 152 for power. Sorry, a 172 f for power. Um, I think it's significantly faster than, than a... It just feels a, a lot more punchy. Okay, we're pretty much on that radial now, so let's go um, high track. And the aircraft should begin swinging to the left. Yep, there we go, just gradually up through 4,000 feet, 1,000 feet to go. Um, and we will be on... Um, I, did, I, did put a f I did put 5,000 feet in the box, didn't I? Yes. Would have been a bit lolish if I didn't, but there we go. So, um, again, amazing how quickly that manifold pressure drops off with altitude. 21 inches already, and I can't. I can't make any more than that. I can't make 21 squared. Um, so actually, let's let's go. Let's let's go 20 inches manifold now, and let's go 1800 RPM. Let's really make this a nice. Okay, we almost leveled out there because we pulled out so much power. But we've just made... Oh, that, that came up to 2200. Okay, let's go 2200. Uh, sorry, 22 inches. And uh, 1800. And we're just about ready to hit that out hold button. Like so. Altitude engage. Set. Whew. So that was good. Uh, we are at cruise. And we have someone bearing down upon us. Which looks a bit scary. But he'll have us on TCAS. Because we're on out. So he'll have us on TCAS. We're 8.4 nautical miles away from Brookman's Park. Um, let's just do a little bit of active trimming there for... Uh, just double check my cylinders. Cylinder 5 is always the hottest. But um, I can tell she likes it at 1800. That's a, that is a no, no, no vibration. That is a smooth configuration there, just like Scott says. So we went through the climb pretty quick, but uh, fuel pump off at 1,000 feet. There we go. Fuel pump gone off. 
power reduce as well. Uh, maximum 24 squared in the climb. Uh, cylinder head temperatures check. Yeah, we just did that ourselves. Mixture lean is required. Let's go to the cruise checklist. Throttle set, prop set, mixture lean is required. Fuel pump verify, ver verifies off. Fuel pressure, check that. Fuel pressure is good. That is like four to five PSI. Um, and engine gauges check. So again, oil, uh, the pr oil pressure is bang in where we need it. Oil temperature is really good. Fuel's good. Fuel pressure is good. Cylinder head, um, cylinder head temperatures are good. Uh, EGT again in the middle and gyro suction okay. So the next one thing we'll need is the approach checklist when we get there. Okay, so I'm going to now start monitoring uh, Vatsim because it's just like Vatsim. Oh, there's a there's a Concord. Oh my goodness. Oh no, he's he's inbound to Heathrow. He's not outbound. Phew. There's a, Con there's a Concord coming up my backside, but he's on the south side of London at this point. Uh, we've got some traffic up ahead. That is um, that is a jet too. Where is he going? Um, I don't know. Let's have a look. A few thumps and bumps. That's to be expected. Uh, let's just open up Volanta. I should have done that. Oh, that's silly me. I wanted to track this flight. I'll track it. I'll start it now anyway, so. Um. Alright. Romeo, uh, it's going from um, EGLC to EGNX. There we go. What do we have here? Yeah, an up trim. Okay, a little bit of up trim. That's all it needs. Why is our manifold is 12? That is not good. Yeah, manifold's coming up. Are we almost... Yeah. Look at that. We had huge... Yeah, look at that. We almost, we almost crashed, guys. You see how quickly that happened. We genuinely almost crashed. We're going to have to keep the, um, the, the carby heat in. Oof. Yeah, that's and that is why the trim was was needed. You see, if we didn't have that trim enunciator, 0.9 nautical miles away from the. Let's go heading hold and let's track new is. Uh, oh oh no no no, this one sorry. Uh, so it should be uh, zero, uh, 305. Course zero, zero 035. Okay, and down trim. Southside traffic, Neptune 2, 3 Delta, holding short. Yeah, let's let's bring it back from from 24 inches. That's just a bit too fast. Let's go back to 22 inches, like so. And it's trying to hit 1800 there. Oh. Okay, set. That's 10 gallons an hour. I'll be happy with that. A uh, little bit of uh, turbulence here now. As we move outbound from uh, Brookman's Park, um, the radial will will quiet down for us a bit. Status rapid Ryanair 2A for Astra, private check. Can anyone hear me? How about five? Thank you, Ryanair. Standard traffic, uh, Ryanair 2A for Tru Alpha. On Sierra one of two two for the departure. Okay. I think I am second for departure. 
hectic. Hectic, eh? Okay, we're, we're just... We're going to monitor that radial. And while we monitor that radial, let's start thinking about um, east mids. Just make this a little bit smaller so we can see what's going on. Okay, so east mids charts. Approach. Now, let's go to the star, actually. Um, I think it was Daventry star. There is a Daventry star. So inbound from Daventry, uh, we track uh, 015 outbound to Velag, which is uh, itself 14.3 nautical miles on the outbound radial of 015. And then we do another 10.2 nautical miles to Updug, Updug. Um, and from Updock, we would expect vectors into East Mids. But since there's no ATC online, that's just a um, new pin. Uh, okay, I'm not going to worry about that. I'll just keep that. I'll just keep that here. In the meantime, um, now we've crossed that radial. Let's go back to high track, and we're 6.5 nautical miles outbound, so we should be the sensitivity should be okay on that. Let's just double check our um, outside air temperature is uh, eight Celsius. So being under 10 Celsius, you know, hauling hauling so much through the manifold, the 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 low pressure in the manifold. Um, brings the temperature of the air down and as the temperature of the air drops its ability to hold moisture rapidly decreases and that is why you get ice in the manifold despite the fact that it's 8 Celsius. Uh, it's because it's very humid. This air, um, this air is going to be holding a lot of moisture right now and that's going in the manifold and and being and the manifold is is sucking that so fast that there's a low pressure wave inside the manifold and that's what is uh, is creating that icing despite the fact again you see no icing on the on the the actual aircraft at all um, it's only present in the manifold because of that low pressure um, so we're holding good 5000 uh, which is monitor our airspeed and angle of attack and that that um, trim enunciator is actually really good to to give you an indicator of what the aircraft is doing because if the aircraft is correctly trimmed and holding altitude and all of a sudden that starts beeping at you you've got to wonder what is your power doing what's happened to your power because your power has changed and and all of a sudden the aircraft the autopilot reacts to that power change to maintain your altitude and that's why it's beeping at you and that's what it did to me. So, okay, I'm going over the. Um, I'm going over the. I'm going over. Um, Luton Airport now. <clears throat> and again, if there was, if there was Luton control on. Um, that would add another like 10, 15, maybe 20, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes le on, onto my leg because I would have to coordinate with Shannon ATC. And, um, well, maybe I wouldn't if I'm IFR. Maybe I wouldn't. Maybe I'd have to climb over his airspace. Probably have to climb over his airspace. Uh, does it say what that airspace, uh, airspace, okay. Oh, actually, here, yeah. So controlled, the, the Luton control zone is up to 3,500 foot AGL. Class D, yeah. The Class D airspace I'm in right now is up to 3,500 foot. Ma it says max, yeah, minimum altitude is zero, max out is 3,500. So I'm overhead the top of his airspace. So... Okay. Well, there's another block of airspace I'm coming into now, which is, I believe, the 3,000 to 5,500, 5, which I am coming into, which is uh, 
CTA 5. Yeah, CTA 5. And then, what is that? That's the same as what I'm in right now. Okay, so I'm coming into C Control Zone 5, or CTA 5, Class D, and that's that's 5,500, so I'm 500 foot within that. Um, yeah. I need to, I need to, I need to learn airspaces better. I, there's a, so much about it. Airspaces, it's, it's, it's a completely, its own set of, set of, you know, videos and learning and training. Maybe I should just do a sustained period of time on, on the channel where all I do is I go into how do you deal with airspace as a, as a GA flyer? That would be actually very helpful, I think. Because when you're on VATSIM, you know, you're not a 737 that's just, you know, you almost don't care about airspace. You just talk to controllers in the airspace. And you just you just get cleared into it or you just get cleared altitudes. But when you're VFR particularly, you really have to pay attention to airspace. Anyway, let's just double check if anything has changed with... Uh, okay. So, our destination airport, East Midlands, where, you know, half an hour to 45 minutes ago, it, had, it did have a ton of, it, of ATC. We now have no ATC in, anywhere in the UK. Isn't that typical? Look at this. Tons of airspace, t tons of controllers everywhere else. And I want to fly to East Mids. Uh, oh, hello. And, um, okay, so that's, that's me. Uh, where am I? I am there, so he's going to call me up. Uh, one, one twenty-seven, one. Demo one echo arrival, no read back, break. Neptune one two, Neptune two three Delta, score five six six four, Club R three four zero. Okay, he hasn't asked for me to tune his frequency yet, but I'm assuming... I, it looks like on FlightAware, it looks like on SimAware that I'm in his airspace. So while he while he gets through all the heavies, I'm going to... Can you confirm Ryanair 284, please? A firm, Club R120, it's called 7603. 7303. Hello, Yoings 12 Hotel uh, 320. Okay, let's go uh, 16-4. Yoings 12 Hotel, hello, decent, flight level 90, um, pass Sabre, flight level 160. 690 and passing Vapor, flight level 160, Yoings 12 Hotel. Easy 12, Zulu Foxtrot, uh, sorry, Zulu Victor, left 190 degrees, clear for the island okay. approach. Okay, we're tracking two. inbound Daventry now. Yeah, it's like T seven Golf number. Just confirm you're at Manchester inbound. That was like fifteen different people talking there. Roger, you still got a flat plan from Manchester going to Greece, so you want to check that. D seven follow eight zero, and you can continue on Unicom. In between Brooklyn, Brooklyn's Park and Daventry. Good. Uh, Ryan Delta Hotel, continue approach, one just vacated. In fact, he's just vacated now for 2 2. You're cleared to land at 2 2 degrees 9 and up. Clear to land, running 2 2, Ryanair right 5 Delta Hotel. Easy 1 2 6 Hotel London, good evening, score 4 2 3 3, continue your climb. Cylinder had temperatures pretty low. Score yeah. 4 2 3 3, continue your climb for Easy 1 2 6 Hotel. And the Cylinder is to a Foxtrot, but you repeat the altitude assignment. And like Scott said, like Scott said in his video, with, with a low RPM, with a low RPM, you get low cylinder head temperatures. So. Ryanair 2 Foxtrot Alpha 7603 and you're cleared to fly level 160. Flight level 160 Ryanair Foxtrot 28 Foxtrot Alpha. Everything looking good? Inbound 21 nautical miles. Yeah, climb flight level 360. So. Can't see a thing. <laughs> But then that's that's the fun of that's the fun of flying IMC. 
at 5,000 feet. You're not supposed to see anything. Um, oh, it's 40. Okay, so we've got a 40 nautical mile leg from Daventry up to East Mids on 349. Logan 2 Hotel, yeah. Thank you. Contract 551, route direct Welling. Very well in 551, cheers. Still 8 Celsius. Running 98 Charlie Hotel, London 3, type 738, <coughs> stand 12 left, with information Alpha 281008, request Alpha clearance to Frankfurt, please. Just an NG on the PDC. Running control, dot com, 3 Charlie X-ray, passing 360-370. Dot com, 3 Charlie X-ray, London, roger. 80, uh, 120 Zulu Foxtrot, uh, sorry, 8120 Zulu Victor, continue approach number two. Right, uh, continue approach number two, uh, uh, 8420 Zulu Victor. London, hello, Golf Lee Marindia, Foxtrot Romeo. Hello, uh, QNH is 100, sorry, correction, 1010, and you can squawk uh, 0347. QNH 1010, Squawk 0347, Golf Lima, India, Foxtrot, Romeo. Thank you. The basic service remained outside. Uh, landing 27 East Mids, information out for Cheers, thanks. Uh, 0347, it's, he's given me what I have, and QNH 1010. Advice is Golf, good evening. Nokra 1 Hotel Arrival, D7 Flight Level 200, Set. level by Tobid. Yeah, so he gave me uh, 27 East Mids. Which uh, I would expect. I was expecting that. Um, yeah. And uh, that'll just be the approach chart when we need it. Uh, so we need to go. Runner 5 Delta Hotel, clear okay. November Romeo, going to stand 5 0. Roger. EZ1, EZ41 Zulu Victor, you're clear to land the so between 2 0 degrees at 9. EZ41 Zulu Victor, clear to land 2 2. EG 75 Golf Alpha, descend at your discretion, uh, Monty Unicorn 1228, bye bye. Descend at my discretion, Monty Unicorn 122, Justin Lane 3, 75 Golf Alpha, bye bye. Okay. EG 3 Echo Alpha, with your altitude 10,000 feet. EG uh, 3 Echo Alpha, hello, Squawk 1252. 1252, EG 3 Echo Alpha. The control All going well. Thanks, nice example, Delta. Good evening, sir. Uh, uh, recycle your score, please, to 5206. 5206, Channex, 96 Alpha Delta. Good evening, College 26 Alpha, 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 Alpha Sound 75 East Midlands. Same five, information, Alpha three, request push and start. 5000, QH is 1008. So we're only monitoring COM1 at the moment. We're not monitoring both. Right, one five zero five thousand feet. But this is where this is where we could use all four frequencies. We could preset all four frequencies, which would be really cool. Um, let me see what else. What else? What other frequencies? There's no one online at East Mids right now, sadly. Um, three Charlie X-ray contact Amsterdam radar one two five decimal seven five zero. Bye bye. But if there is anyone that pops on, I will uh, I will try and keep keep uh, apprised of that. Climbing through flight over one five zero inbound Delta Tango Yankee. Shannon, not Bravo, I don't have a flight plan. Check and refile for us. No worries. Good evening, uh, College 26 Alpha Papa 737800, information Alpha Stand 75 East Midlands, request push and start. College 26 Alpha Papa, hello, push that approved. Uh, face uh, to the west for me if you can. College 26 Alpha Papa, ready for him, uh, Stand 75, push that approved, face west. Good evening, Tom Dress 723. I guess we're uh, using so much electricity with all the lights and stuff. Our amps are down at one amp. 2731, approved, face east. I've, I've got to test that whenever we get on the ground and turn everything off. I'm going to watch my amp meter. 
Yeah, 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 just getting a slightly empty patch here as we come through the cloud. As come through the clouds. Look at that. Wow. Look at that. Beautiful. Mm -mm. Three, two, two, uh, three, one, zero. Speed but five, six, Golf, Dito, follow one, five, zero. Uh, contract five, five, one, when ready, descend flight level, uh, two, seven, zero. Expect, uh, flight level 100, level welling. Just get some screenshots here. Sorry, go again, uh, contract five, 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 one. Yeah, the, uh, when mm -hmm. ready, descend, follow 270, expect fly level 100, level welling. When ready, uh, descend 270, expect uh, 100 for welling shift. Right here, Clouds just south, dumping rain. Remember, Romeo, going to stand 50. Roger, bye bye. Break, easy 3, echo alpha, descend 2000. 8.3 nautical miles descend left. Easy 126 hotel, monitor unicom. Over to unicom, thank you for your service, easy 126 hotel. So he's going to give me 2 7 uh, approach. Right, no, 3 5 1 9 a contact Amsterdam radar 125 decimal 750. Bye bye. Amsterdam 125 750 radar 25190. The question is. Wings on to hotel, contact Heathrow director 119725. What is he going to do? Bye bye. ED 3 echo alpha turn right 250 degrees. Oh no, sorry, this is. Degrees, that's that's off. what I wanted. I was like, where is it? Uh, right, so yeah. Yeah, five five nine stand one four eight east midwinds request push. Uh, Blue Island five five nine is approved facing niche. Is caution the seven three seven eight hundred next to is also pushing. Roger, facing east stand caution the seven three seven eight hundred A. Blue Island five five nine. So six five five point nine nautical miles now. We're going to be going, our next radial leg is going to be, um, is going to be 3, 4, 9. So let's... Blue back to 2 Sierra Tango. Yeah, 2 Sierra Tango, hello. Clive Fallow, 3, 6, 0, and... Squawk 3201. 3201 and climb flight level 360. Blue back to 0 tango. Channel 9, Bravo Romeo, direct CPTET. Direct CPTET, would it be possible for you to CPTLC as well? Yeah, it's 370, and you're going to go off the unit column now, 1228, bye bye. Oh, no worries, sir. I want to do that to me, 370. Everyone on the ground at East Midlands, everybody on the ground at East Midlands, listen up, please. Everyone on the ground at East Midlands, please switch the ground, 1219er. Everyone on the ground at East Midlands, 1219er. 1219er, I'm going to put on standby, 1219er. Right, Romeo, Romeo, Romeo. Unless he gives us tower. Okay, 3.2 nautical miles, we're going to go over to heading hold. And then set uh, three four nine. When ready, follow one five zero level Three four nine set. And when that put when that hits uh, zero or point two or point one, we will change the heading up. Yeah, two two sir. Easy three echo alpha, clear to land two seven, the wind is one five zero at nine. Clear to land runway two seven, easy three echo alpha. this rain, goodness me. <laughs> it's nice to fly in such weather after you get so many times in the sim where you're just always flying in like sunny or cloud, sometimes cloudy weather, but you never get like proper rain, proper thunderstorms, you know. Some nice, good, good variation to have. One point two nautical miles now. One point one. Two nine zero to Hemel. Expected the Hemel one echo for uh, two seven East Midlands seven three eight with Alpha. Point nine. Point eight. All right, Welling. Chalice nine one zero. Thank you. All right, we're we're right on top of it now. 
business. Let's make it. We've got a left hand cross. Yeah, there you go. We're in the cone of confusion now. So we'll fly outbound on this heading and uh, we'll wait until that radial needle, that uh, ADF receiver, straightens up a bit. Look at that, look at that turbulence, isn't that beautiful? Look at that wing. I could stare at that wing all day long in the turbulence. They've done such a good job with that. Contrast 551, descent flight on 110. And, and with all the... Actually, that's going to be a screenshot. Phoenix 91, Sierra Yankee, descent flight level 100. That's that's going to be my screenshot, actually, for the... Descent level 100, Phoenix 91, Sierra Yankee. That's my screenshot right there. Speedbird 56 Golf, contact Heathrow Director 119725. Bye bye. 19725, okay. Cheers. 4547, decent, flight level 140, level by Absom. 140 by Absom, 4547. Natchin 23 Delta, monitor Unicom, take care. Unicom, Natchin 23 Delta, Unicom, boy. Cheers. Question is, is there a tower? controller coming on at East Midlands in the next uh, 10 the minutes. Kilo at that would be nice. So ground frequency 1219, yep, double just Easy cross check that. Alpha hold position, contact ground on 121.9. Yeah, he's gone to ground. Okay, 3.8 nautical miles. Contract 723, unable to turn east, request turn west. Going back to VOR um, lock, high track. Contract 723, safe position. Um, push and start, but unable to turn east, so request push and start, face west. Right, just hold position then and contact ground 1219. We are going to have to be handy with our ground chart as well once we hit. Once we hit so if we go airports, um, would you let's just prep Gold for... Gold Fox, Romeo, clear to enter the uh, East Midlands control zone, not above altitude 2,000 feet VFR. Uh, I'm afraid we're IFR can't do um, VFR uh, Golf Fox, Romeo. My apologies, sir. I do apologise. I uh, just assumed it was VFR, but that <laughs> my bad. Uh, no worries, thanks. Roger, in which case then uh, it's going to be a deconfliction service outside of controlled airspace. Fly heading 350 degrees. Deconfliction, thanks. Fly 350 degrees, Golf Fox for Romeo. Which is what we're practically doing already. Uh, ACR 910 Yankee, speed 280 knots or greater. Heading select set. Shenex 910 Yankee, speed 280 knots or greater. 280 or greater, no. Okay, so uh, let's go uh, Let's go taxi checklist, or ta taxi chart. So we're going to be coming Contra in 27. Uh, left. Contra 551. Probably, I'm, I'm going to be vacating left on Sierra, um, high speed taxiway, and then coming along Alpha. And then I want to go uh, into uh, Mike 4. This, this right here, uh, the maintenance area north. I want to talk. I want to get maintenance maintenance area north. There's actually a little um, flight flight club right here. I've checked out, so I want to come in Mike and maintenance area north. So when I talk to ground frequency, uh, I want to I want to ask for that. Roger, the Dollar One Echo arrival for two seven D seven five one three zero. Okay, so let's prep. We got the NDB ILS DME. So we've got an ILS 10935, uh, which we will not tune to quite this minute. Um, the SIM has all of a sudden got a, that much little bit smoother for some reason. Maybe it's because we've left the greater London area. And a very good evening to you, Shuttle 3 Mike, with your flight level 190. Shuttle 3 Mike, hello buddy, score 4241, it's a Honolulu, one hotel arrival. Score here is 4241, Honolulu, one hotel arrival, Shuttle 3 Mike. 
I like how it's like, oh, I just assumed you were VFR. And I'm like, London Centre, EZ 3926 at flight level 4 zero. I am definitely not VFR right now, mate. <laughs> flight heading 030 degrees and fine now, flight level uh, Heading three, uh, 030 and flight oh. level 190, 3926. Oh my goodness, he's loud. Uh, I'm having real uh, volume issues with VATS and some, some VATS and people these days. I mean, he's given me the exact heading I was on already, so it, I'm, I'm chill, you know? 13.6 nautical miles out from um, da Daventry on a leg that is roughly 40... Entering controlled in 10 nautical miles, Gold Fox Romeo, thanks. Thank you, and on that heading, clear to enter controlled airspace, and it'll be Vectors for the ILS-27, unless you want a local owner or uh, Vectors for the ILS-27 is great, thanks, Gold Fox Romeo. Perfect. Yeah, cool. Um, yeah. Yes, yes. Yes, we've got a target. Yeah. 12400. 12400. Right. Um, yeah. 12400. Which then means that in standby. We put one two one nine er. Two fifty right uh, zero eight zero. I think that was and uh, descend. Just from the altitude again for uh, one nine one zero. So when we need to go to ground, we and just hit com two right instead of com one, and we are all all of a sudden talking on com two. So I need to I need to learn to I need to learn my I need to learn to use my multiple stacks and make them work for me so that my work my workload isn't like I'm constantly using this stack and constantly punching in each individual frequency as we, as I need them I use this time right now to to preset it Okay so he's he's going to give me vectors to the ILS So in standby I'm going to put the ILS frequency which is uh, 10935 one nine three five set, uh, and the localizer five, uh, will be uh, two six eight. Which we might as well put that now. Two six eight set. Uh, because he's got us on uh, radar vectors, uh, we're all good. Blue Max 2CO, Tango, thank you yourself, Multi Unicom now, 1 2 2 bye bye. Here come Blue Max 2CO, Tango, bye. bye. So just double checking those freaks. KLM 12400, 1210, all good. And 127.1. Uh, so the ATC finally came through for us, which is great. And. Uh, Let's see, what is the what is the ATIS online at uh Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Wait, is that Is that everyone? That's thirty one departures, eighteen arrivals. <gasps> They've got their work cut out for them. Goodness me. I mean That's that's not as busy as I've seen it before. <laughs> but uh yeah, so I'm going to be vacating here, and I might have to hold and wait for tax instructions to the north maintenance area, so. Um... Right, I'm going to go to the taxi checklist. Oh, the taxi chart, sorry. Um, I'm going to preset it. 
like so, and then minimize it. Okay, let's start thinking about the approach checklist will be uh, fuel pump on, fuel selectors desired tank, fuel levels check, fuel pressure, mixture, prop, copy, okay. yeah. Golf Foxtrot Romeo radar control service, fly heading uh, zero one zero degrees, descend to altitude for three thousand feet. Uh, turn a uh, zero one zero degrees, descend altitude three thousand feet, Golf Foxtrot Romeo. Shanex a nine one uh, zero Yankee to left heading two nine zero degrees. Left two nine zero Shanex nine one zero Yankee. Shuttle three Mike, descend fly level one five zero. And to one five zero, shuttle three Mike. Okay, reducing manifold. Spear 3, 8 Delta Bravo, hello to you. Route direct to uh, Welling and climb now, follow 140. Direct to Welling and climb to 140. Land control, good evening, Mustard 455, Tiger 380. Mustard 455, London, hello, Scork 2170 is the Logan 2 hotel arrival, route direct Sabre. Logan 2 hotel 2170 under Scott Derek Sabre, Mustard 455. Golf Fox Romeo right, 020 degrees. 020 degrees, Golf Fox Romeo. Shanks 910 Yankee, no speed restriction. Descend to 6,000 feet on QNH 1008. 6,108 on free speed, and it's 910 Yankee. Contract 551, leave Welling on heading 350 degrees. Leave Welling 350, contract 551. Control, College 26 Alpha, Papa, Passive 5,700 feet, Avenue 3 November. Stand by, shuttle 3 Mike, detail flight level 90. And that's flight level 90, shuttle 3 Mike. 3926 is going to take you a hell of a long time to get to Germany uh, unless you climb. It's climb by all 330. Apologies, I did not click the right button. 3926. Oh, he's a contract. Uh, co uh, college uh, 26 Alpha Papa, hello to you. Climb fly level 7. This, is, is, uh, this guy's nice. He's a chill guy. Climb Alpha level 170, College 26 Alpha Papa. Run S75 Hotel X ray descent to altitude 6000, the East Midlands QNH is 1008. Uh, four flight 04, altitude hold. Descent flight 080, monitor unicorn 1228, bye bye. 780, monitor unicorn 1228, bye bye. Actually, it's just come back. 2047, it's a Hemel 1 Bravo arrival. Resume your own navigation, direct Welling. Yeah, we need to slow down. Hemel 1 Bravo arriving and direct Welling to resume your own navigation. Be like 2047. Austrian 455, descend. When ready, fly level 160, level by Sabre. 160 by Sabre, when ready, Austrian 455. B line 2047, climb file 340. Climb file level 340, B line 2047. Calum 1649, direct Redfer. Direct Redfer, Calum 1649. Golf Fox Romeo, descend to altitude 1500 feet, it will be a 4.5 mile final. Say again, was that uh, 1500 feet for Golf Fox Romeo? 1, 000, 1 point, yeah, 1500 feet for a 4.5 mile final. 1,500 feet for a four and a half mile final, Golf Fox at Romeo. Let's go down. Okay, let's bring the prop up. Oh. Thunder Control, hello, College 2 1, passing 3,900 feet, climbing flight level 9, 0, Devon Street in November. Shanks 9, 1, uh, Sierra Yankee, ready check. 5. Thank you. Uh, turn right, heading zero three zero degrees. You turn to five thousand. Okay. Seven five thousand. Confirm zero three zero zero five zero. Nine one zero Yankee. Right turn, heading zero three zero degrees. Zero three zero. Turn it's nine one zero Yankee. College two six Alpha Papa. Climb file three five zero. Climb file three five zero. College two six Alpha Papa. Shuttle three Mike. Contact Heathrow direct to one one nine decimal seven two five. Bye bye. 119-725, thanks for the service tonight, mate, and have a good evening. Shelf. 
Obviously, Mike. Cheers, bye bye. Break. Uh, be better to the very Delta Bravo. Climb flight level well up 200. We need to slow down. Level 200, Delta Bravo. Blue Max 2 November Charlie, fly heading 080 degrees, descent to 4000 feet on Kin H1010. Heading 080 degrees, uh, down to 4000 feet, Kin H1010. Blue Max 2 November Charlie. Neptune 10 Kilo from Juliet, uh, sorry, from Quebec 1, runway 22, clue take off, the wind is 200 degrees at 9. Easy and, and 3926, I navigation direct Redfer. Direct Redfer, 3926. Tom Jeff 452, Set that at 162, 452. Three, two, two, and hello. Push approve, face south. Let's just get the. Uh, let's just get the auto. The. Go Foxtrot Romeo, left turn two five zero, cleared ILS. <laughs> left turn at two five zero, cleared ILS. Uh, Go Foxtrot Romeo. Shannon's nine one zero, Yankee, descent to two thousand feet. Two thousand nine one zero. Autopilot off. Let's let's fly this manually now. London College Two One passing flat level eight two for flat level nine zero. Damn tree three. Two gear down. Let's not go below 1,200 feet. Fly heading 250 degrees. Let's put some flaps in. He only just caught me in time. Okay, mixture rich. Prop, prop full forward. 124 decimal zero. Thanks. Bye, Golf Fox Romeo. Is Ryan at 75528, try continue on present heading. Uh, tower, hello, Golf uh, Lima India Foxtrot Romeo with you, uh, ILS 27. Golf Lima India Foxtrot Romeo, Midlands Tower, hello, continue approach, one departing ahead. Continue approach, Golf Foxtrot Romeo. Okay, Whew. right. Let's make sense of this. Okay, we got the gear down, we got the flaps, flaps ish. Uh, let's not go below 100 knots until we know what's going on. Golf Fox, short runway, runway 27, clear to land, surface wind 140 degrees, no knots. Clear to land, runway 27, Golf Fox, short Romeo. Okay, so there's the glide coming down to meet us, and let's just begin descending with the glide. All manually. None of this fancy autopilot mumbo-jumbo. Just hold us at there, and there is the center line. That's just correct. Now we have a visual on the center line. Hi, Tyler. This is uh, Ryanair 72 Zulu Yankee at Whiskey One, ready for uh, departure. Ryanair well, 72 Zulu Yankee, Midland Star, Roger, hold position. Blue Island, Survive 59, report your passing altitude to London, control 127, decimal 1. Bye bye. One seven decimal next week. See you, yours. Um, Blue Orange five five nine. Crosswind here. Look at this. Glide is good. Look is good. Visual. The picture is good. Two whites, two reds. All is good with the world. Um, that that. That, that localizer capture was a bit glitch. It was a bit crazy, but um, but it, with, with a with a radar controller, with an approach controller, it would have been a lot a lot better. He he had so much he had to do. Right there's there's ha <laughs> there's a a tui. There's all sorts of people down there waiting for me to land. Look at that. Right, let's let's make this good, guys. Okay, totally visual now. Let's pull the power. Let's just D crab and touchdown. On the brakes. So, hello, John X now on Sierra Yankee, shortly establishing 427. My brake, Golf Fox at Romeo, you can see down the runway, second left, AK Mike. Uh, next left, vac uh, I can vacate the uh, first left to Golf Fox to Romeo. Negative second left, please. Break. Copy. Okay, he wants me on the runway longer. He'll have me on the runway longer. ZX91, Steer Yankees, Mr. Hello, continue approach number two. Just 
Okay, but can I make it? Oh, Okay, Mike is coming up. Mike. Good evening, Blue Max 9606, Whiskey 1 and sequence. Blue Max 9606, can we submit to Hello Hall, Whiskey 1? Actually, I'm gonna. Hold I'm gonna. Blue Max uh, 9606. Landing checklist. Got Fox Shot Romeo, vacate Mike, once vacated, ground 121.9, bye bye. Once vacated, ground 121.9, thanks, uh, Got Fox Shot Romeo. Oh. Okay, let's go COM2. There we go. East mid's ground. Golf Lima Idiot Fox Shot Romeo with you, just vacated on Mike. Golf Fox Shot Romeo, welcome to East Midlands. Taxi to the maintenance stand, straight ahead via Mike. Straight ahead via Mike, thanks, Golf Fox Shot Romeo. Just double check, no one's coming across me there, which is good. And that's all I need, because I know exactly where I'm going from here. Um, uh, East Midlands ground is Whiskey 1 available for departure. That's the Ryanair 26 Echo November. Whoop! Little step down there. Uh, Ryanair 26 Echo November, negative. Uh, you're on the Daventry departure. Need to keep the separation. Uh, no problems, Ryanair 26 Echo November. Okay, so it's a right hand turn here onto where that, where that vehicle's parked right there. And once we're once we're on stand, uh, we'll just have a bit of a debrief, I think, and we'll have a look around the airport as well. Oh, duh, I should have turned off the strobe. <laughs> uh, oh, well. And I will put the aircraft right there. Right, let's, let's sort that out. Let's turn off the strobes and the landing lights. And let's turn on the parking brake. Let's turn off the fuel pump the, uh, and the pitot heat. So, um, the landing checklist, uh, yeah, we, we basically did that automatically without having to think about it. After landing, flaps are up, strobes are off, fuel pump is off, mixture lean as required, trim is neutral. Yes, let's remember to do that so that next time when we come back, <laughs> we don't have to forget that again. Because uh, I remember that takeoff at Shoreham. And the shutdown checklist. Um, let us go. Um, parking brake is set, radios, let's turn the radios off first. Master's going off. Transponder. Let's turn that off. Like so. Avionics Master is off already. Oh, well, yeah, I already did that. Yeah, Avionics Master is off. Master switch. Off. Uh, throttle. Closed. Mixture. Idle cutoff. Mags. I'm going to wait for the props to stop turning. And the cylinders to stop firing. And then I will go mags off. Um, control wheel. Let's secure that. Let's put in the bungee. Doors and windows closed. Tie downs secure. Okay, so let's go to the controls and let's put the tie downs, the wheel chocks, the pitot cover, uh, and the engine heater. And there we go, ladies and gents. Welcome to the East Midlands. Let's just... Um, Pause, pause track IR, and go grab the showcase camera. So where I have parked is pretty much one of the only places you can park uh, as GA is as GA traffic at East Mids. Um. The other place that has GA related areas that you can park is this little slice right here. So from that 
um, this area here and these little areas down here like there's a hangar there I mean you could I, I could I could easily go and park in there that would be quite cute to park in there uh, or in here um, I think this is a this is a, a engine run-up or engine test stand or something I seem to remember when reading the chart uh, oh no that that is no fire something like fire test or something like that I can't remember um, yeah and then there's some big hangers here so I wonder if there's anything inside this one no there's not so that's why he told me Mike because he just knew you know as long as you're down Mike he doesn't care what I where I go because that's just where to throw general aviation aircraft everywhere now where else is taken so the um the cargo spots you can't go you know the commercial stands are busy uh particularly while east midlands is so busy these days with with flyers look at this enjoying it uh the new scenery which is i think hands down critically acclaimed the best flight simulator scenery currently currently on the market. So ASL Airlines, we've got a DHL 777 there. That's cool. I am looking forward to the, the BM, PMDG 777 in... Uh, oh, and, and then all of the... All of the... Uh, what happened there? I love the lights. The lights are really good. Oh, and you even, even the little uh, traffic. Even the traffic has headlights. So... Yeah, I love Microsoft Flight Simulator. It just looks so good. And it runs so smoothly on my... Most of the time, so smoothly on my system. It's such a head and shoulder, you know, jump from P3D. Even P3D version 5, or, you know, it, you just couldn't... So he's stacking up... He's stacking up people on uh, Whiskey 1 as well as... So some of them are not even flying full length. Right, let's see. Is he going to hit the touchdown zone? No, he's going to float. Oof. Oh. Oh my goodness, he scraped that in. Wow. And who's going to go first? It's the it's this Reiner. Okay, folks. Well, that's enough for me. Um, I think I I look forward to flying out of East Mids, maybe hopefully with some better weather um, and in the daytime. But uh, that is beautiful. I mean, that's another screenshot in and of itself. Let's just go camera. Uh, let's go zoom level. Like so. Screenshot. Yep, so thank you very much for watching, folks. Hope you enjoyed this. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed this. Um, it's just been so long since I've flown GA aircraft on VATSIM, you know, in this sort of environment again. Um, I love East Midlands in the fact that it's it's such a it's such a, a jet centric commercial traffic you know hub but at the same time you can get a Cessna in here there's n there's nothing wrong with that in real life they have a little um they have a little um flight school here with with Cessnas and stuff so it's realistic for for GA aircraft to come in here which is beautiful so um I'm I might sit here and watch this a little bit longer guys but um I'm gonna leave this lovely site for you guys and uh yeah, you will you will be able to catch me later whenever I do my next Comanche flight. I'll make sure I keep you guys in the loop. Have a good one.